This video will show how to use Sautry's Road Eng to generate volumes and cross-sections from surveyed as-built data. So let me open in the terrain module a couple of the surfaces that we have. So the road as it was being built was also surveyed. First we had the original ground survey which picked up the uh, it's an existing road, it's a rebuild project and we've got survey information to define the state of the road before any work was done. Then there was a survey taken after the stripping had been performed and that produces another surface. So this is the stripping surface. Then there was an undercut um, survey. Uh, the surveys actually happened in fairly small chunks. Uh, the uh, data has all been paste, pieced together here so that uh, we can use it all at once. But you can see the undercut surface doesn't exist everywhere. That's okay. And finally the completed road was surveyed um, and that's in a surface called final. Okay, so we have to make surfaces to represent the staged construction of the road and the higher the quality of the surface uh, the more accurate your volumes are going to be. So we've created all these surfaces. Now I'm going to go to our location module where we do road design in general and I'm going to start a new road design project. Start off like all road design projects by picking the original ground as my um, initial surface. There was a feature in that terrain which represents the center line. I've already selected it. And that's going to be my alignment. And finally, this is where we get into the as built um, project. We don't need a cross-section template, so we're going to assign uh, the bridge template everywhere. We have no cross-section. So here's my road. The um, profile and the plan were extracted from a, a surveyed feature. You can see the original ground um, surface in the background, and there's the original ground cross-section with no template. Now I'm going to add all of our surveyed surfaces. We do that in the Corridor Ribbon Options button, Terrains Surfaces. This is version 10 software. It has changed a little bit from version 9. Click on Add here. Pick Terrain as the, the type. Uh, we're not choosing a subsurface. We're not actually, well, corridors are a whole different um, animal. Um, so we're, we're reading a terrain file and start, we're going to do them in order. Uh, I think you can change the order later, but it's easier just to pick them in the right order. So the first one is stripping. That's the uh, construction operation that happened first. Uh, the color is useful if you're going to look at it in 3D. It doesn't make much difference for the cross section. There are um, alternate ways of changing the color. Um, the other important thing is to check here, include in cross-section as a volume surface, and then we have to give it a layer. I'm going to choose layer 10 above subgrade for my stripping, and I can give it an um, optional description. Now if I wanted to do that in version 9, it would be a little bit different. I have version 9 open here. I'll just demonstrate. In version 9, the uh, Properties button is a little bit different. There is a Terrains button instead of Terrains slash Surfaces. And what you have to do is scroll down to the first reference terrain, pick it, and then Browse. And then it's pretty much the same. So again, Stripping goes first, Include in Cross Sections, and pick a layer. So that's version 9 just a, a little bit different and now let's go back to version 10. So I've already picked uh, one surface. I actually didn't need to close that. I'm just going to keep adding surfaces until I'm done. So uh, another surface 
this one will be undercut. Again, chronologically, that was the second thing that happened. And it needs to be included. It needs to have a different layer. Call it layer 11. The above subgrade name here is a little confusing. It's not above subgrade, but we can change that later if we want to. One more, and that is the uh, final survey of the finished road. And I'm going to put that one in my cross section and I'm going to use the subgrade material um, for that. The nice thing about using the subgrade material is it automatically uses the um, expansion compaction in the materials that you assign. Okay. So original ground, stripping, undercut, final, in the order that they happened. Recalculate the design. There it is. We're, we're virtually done. Now we need to um, look at some output. Let's first of all go over here and just make sure that our cross sections look right. I'm, I'm not seeing any um, serious issues here. The, the subgrade material does seem to be filling down to undercut. Um, and if I right click here, it says, oh yeah, there's some uh, cut for SRF 11. And if I recall correctly, SRF 11 is undercut. If I hatch that, yep, there's my undercut. Okay, this is, this is making sense. Um, you can change the colors and line types here. Um, just by going into section options template, here they are. And for example, 11 doesn't have a hatch on it, so it's coming out as a solid. But if I put a hatch on it, it would come out as a hatch. Those features are saved in screen layouts. So let's just read in a screen layout. I prepared this one earlier and not only does it have the right line types and colors that I like for my cross section but it's also got the data window set up to show all the various volumes surface 10 surface 11 and subgrade and now you can see that the the volumes by uh, 10 meter intervals I think yeah I'm pretty sure this is in meters um, anyway it doesn't matter um, and you can see there's some issues down here, which are interesting. Another issue to talk about in a minute. You can also change these column headings. And again, that can be done in the um, template editor instead of the section options. And here you can um, change the name of each material. So for example, I could change SRF 10 to str stripping and that will appear here and those are stored in your template table so again if I want to be quick about this I would just have a template table that has all those settings in it already and if it was my default template table it would already be showing uh, or I can just open a table here and I've got one called test, which is set up the way I want it. And there you go. Um, stripping, undercut, subgrade. And now I mentioned that it's important to have accurate surfaces. Right away you can see there's some issues. Note there's a little bit of fill for the stripping. That doesn't really make sense. Same with undercut, there's some fill. Uh, if we just look at one of those cross sections, we should be able to see why the undercut actually goes over the original ground a little bit and over the stripping. Uh, so if the surface isn't perfect, you're not going to get perfect volumes. And there are ways to deal with that using either the terrain module to modify your surfaces or fixed cross sections to um, edit your cross sections one at a time or, or en masse. And that's another topic. I'm not going to not going to cover that today. So really, it's not much work to get volumes 
out of surfaces, you just need to add them to your uh, tables of surfaces in the right order and the cross section will automatically um, put them in volumes if you turn on this checkbox.